details for us. Kevin? Yeah, this is our copy of the uh, affidavit in this case, and this affidavit represents the officer's testimony in this, one that makes it clear. Burglar in her own apartment here. More specifically, here is what this affidavit says. Officer Geiger, according to the affidavit, parked on the fourth floor parking garage here, walked to her apartment, which is 1378. That's on the third floor. She didn't know she was on the fourth floor, she has said. That's Botham Jean's apartment, 1478, directly above hers. She says the door was slightly ajar and fully opened when she put in her key, that the apartment was nearly completely dark, and that the door being open also alerted Botham Jean to Geiger's presence in the apartment. Then she says, believing she had encountered a burglar, which was described as a large silhouette across the room in what she thought was her apartment, Geiger drew her firearm, gave verbal commands that were ignored by Botham Jean, and then that she fired her handgun two times, striking Botham Jean one time in the torso. Then it says she entered the apartment, called 911, and when asked by police and EMS where she was, returned to the front door, and only then discovered for the first time that she was in the wrong apartment. And here is the key statement, the last sentence in this affidavit, which clearly represents the officer's uh, defense at this point. Geiger believes she was in her apartment and confronted by a burglar when she fired her handgun, striking and killing him. But here's what the affidavit does not say. It does not say that both Botham John uh, tried to attack her in any way, shape or form. It does not say that he had a weapon of any kind. And her testimony suggests that she shot from the door and then entered the apartment and then turned on the lights to see who she shot. Then finding out later she was in the wrong place entirely. Live in downtown Dallas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News. All right, Kevin, uh, within the last 20 minutes, the attorney for the victim's family talked to us about the affidavit and says that he does not believe the officer's account. Yeah, I don't believe that the door was open. Um, uh, when she came in, um, I can tell you that, and and I, you know, I, I, I quite frankly, I take issue with the idea that she didn't recognize this as her as her apartment. I think there's a lot of evidence that uh, I'm said that was not her apartment. I think there's a lot of evidence to contradict that. Right now, Officer Amber Geiger is charged with manslaughter, but we've learned that charge could change. It's all up to a grand jury. Channel A's David Goins live tonight. So, David, the district attorney really made it clear that she's taking, she's uh, taking going, she's going to be going into this case and taking charge of it, right? Yeah, that's right, John. And really drawing a distinction about what has happened so far, namely Amber Geiger being arrested and bonding out of the Kaufman County Jail, and the public perception around that versus what is to come here at the DA's office up here on the 10th floor of the Crowley Courts Building, and that is. The DA's office says it is now time for their investigation to really get started. We will make certain that justice is done in this case. And a big part of that, according to Faith Johnson, is keeping all the evidence out of public view. So on Monday, just hours after DPD officer Amber Geiger turned herself into and then bonded out of jail, the Dallas County DA would not speculate on why the Texas Rangers arrested Geiger for manslaughter. After the four-year officer mistook both of Jean's apartment for her own, and shot and killed him Thursday night. The ultimate decision in terms of what this charge will be will be presented to the grand jury. Johnson said a grand jury will have a range of options, which could include indicting the still current DPD officer with murder. Geiger did not spend a night in jail after being arrested. According to Kaufman County, she was in custody for about 90 minutes Sunday night. The DA's office says how Geiger was allowed to surrender in a neighboring county was also handled by the Texas Rangers. But today she said that's not her office's focus. Whatever treatment uh, she's going to get in Dallas County, she's going to get it, <laughs> regardless of the fact that she turned herself into Kaufman County. She made those statements with both of Jean's family by her side. Later Monday, his mother, Allison Jean, told reporters there is still so much she doesn't have answers to that she hopes the DA's office can provide. I'm not satisfied that we have all the answers. And the number one answer that I want is what happened. Tonight, we do not have a clear sense of when a grand jury may get this case. Typically, it takes a bit of investigation before a Dallas County grand jury would receive the case. Tonight, Amber Geiger is still on paid administrative leave, still employed by the Dallas Police Department.
Live in Dallas County, David Goins, Channel 8 News. Now, of course, the calls for justice don't end with the district attorney. Today, faith leaders representing the African American Pastors Coalition took turns leading prayers outside of DPD headquarters. They say pastors want answers about a shooting that's left congregations confused and disturbed.